Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about using shutter speed as a compositional tool to create unique and imaginative images. Basically what we are doing, we're leaving the shutter open to record light trails and all you need is a camera and a tripod to do it. My name is Brian Carey. Welcome to Photography and the Creative You. I'm going to use some photos I've been working on over the years to talk about shooting light trails. These were all shot in my hometown of St. John's, Newfoundland, Canada. The first photo I'd like to talk about is Cabot Tower Drive, and I'd like to start with a bit of a backstory. I shot this same composition in the early 90s with a Mamiya film camera and got a nice result with a two minute exposure, and there were multiple car trails in the photo. I got the idea to reshoot it one evening out for my walk. The funny thing was, it just popped in my head. Why not shoot it again with just one car trail in the frame? It would clean it up a bit and be a great challenge and learning experience. Being out for a walk seems to be a time I get most of my creative ideas. And it took me two evenings to get it. As usual, I had to test my exposures. But the biggest challenge was getting one car and some clean light trails. Many times when a car was on its way up the hill, another would appear in the frame and I'd have to start over. It was early in the week, so the traffic was light, and on the second evening, I got what I wanted. So I set up the camera on a tripod, framed the composition, set the camera to bulb exposure and manual focus set to infinity. I would open the shutter as the car was entering the frame, as you can see on the right, and close it just after they got to the top of the hill. You can see their brake lights as they apply their brakes. One thing I love about this photo, and others have commented too, is the transition from the headlights to the taillights in the middle of the frame. Another detail you might like here is the starburst effect on some of the lights. This is caused by the aperture of the lens, which was f22. And I needed 73 seconds to get the photo I wanted. The second photo is one I call Midnight Ride at Signal Hill. I always look for curves in the roads, and I like this one leading up to Cabot Tower. I set up my camera and tripod on the sidewalk and framed out the image as best I could in the dark. And I waited for cars to pass and tested my exposure. And I also used the first few images to get the composition the way I wanted. Once again, I had to go out at a time when the traffic was light, otherwise I'd have a problem getting only one car, and there would also be a problem with light pollution for this photo. I also wanted to get the taillights going up rather than the headlights coming down the hill because I thought the headlights might cause glare and exposure issues with the lights shining directly into the camera lens. In this 30 second exposure, the car enters the frame on the left and I capture their taillights as they pass by. The last photo is Moonlight Serenade at Signal Hill. The reflection on this pond can be very serene on a calm evening and I have seen it many times. Once again, I set up my camera and tripod and ran a few test shots until I was where I wanted to be. This is a 30 second exposure, again with one car in the frame, which entered on the right. You might even notice I cast some stars here. These last two images were shot in manual exposure mode and the hardest part of shooting them was not blowing out the light on the tower and still getting the car trail in the photo. Controlling your highlights is a real challenge here. You can often use your two second self timer to trigger the shutter if you are using a set shutter speed such as 30 seconds as I did on these last two photos. But if you use bulb mode, you'll have to use a shutter release cable. Most DSLRs have this capability. And if you're looking for areas to shoot, I recommend a place with some kind of vista where you can look out over a city or roadway, for example. Have fun. I hope you enjoyed and learned something in this video on shooting light trails. And remember, the best thing to do is experiment. And if this gets you started, I'm happy with that. I'll put links to my portfolio and ebook below. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, please comment with the hashtag suggestions. 
Thanks for watching.